Hi everyone, Alex with Beam It Up here again. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a combined grooved and threaded pipe type in Revit MEP. For that we're going to be using malleable iron threaded fittings for small piping runs and uh, we're going to be using Victolic groove fittings for our large pipe runs. And remember if you're enjoying this type of content make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notifications. See you in Revit. Alright, so I'm going to give you a little preview of what we're looking for after this video. Uh, this is a combined fire protection routing preference or pipe type. It doesn't really matter if you use it for fire protection or for something else. Uh, but what's important is that you're going to have small pipes having this type of fittings which are malleable threaded fittings, uh, malleable iron. Uh, so that's an elbow, that this would be a T, also a malleable iron threaded uh, fitting. And then for large pipes you're going to have groove fittings, uh, in this case it's from the Victolic manufacturer but it can also be from Grinnell or Anvil or any you know other manufacturer. Alright so in your project you're going to scroll down to your families until you find pipes and then under pipe types you have the pipe types that you have in your project already. We're going to create a new one and we're going to create it based off of a standard so we're just going to duplicate it and we're going to rename it grooved and thread it. Alright so let's edit our pipe types routing preference. So we go here under type properties and here they are routing preferences and here's where we're going to be specifying uh, all the different types of fittings and couplings for our pipe type. So for pipe segment that's going to be the pipe itself we're going to select um, schedule 40, steel schedule 40. So you can type ST and here it is. And that would be something like this pretty much. And then before we start selecting our fittings since we don't have them loaded into the project yet we have to go into load families. We we'll go into pipe fittings then malleable iron let's go into class 150 threaded and then let's, se let's select a bunch of them at once so let's get our threaded uh, cap uh, we can get a coupling a cross cross reducing elbow elbow reducing a let's do our t the reducing t and let's leave it like that for now. So let's start selecting those. So for our elbow, we're going to go with the uh, reducing threaded so that we have the option to reduce from, let's say, one inch to half inch. Uh, the preferred junction type, we're going to keep it as T then uh, for the type of junction we're gonna go with our reducing T thread it then for our cross we'll select our reducing cross then for transition we're gonna go ahead and select the coupling concentric reducing and then for union we're gonna keep the coupling thread it and then no flange and for cap we're going to select our threaded cap right so right now we have let's test it out a little bit just to make sure we have the the setup that we want right now we have nothing grooved yet but we have the threaded part so let's test the the threaded part first let's say I'm doing a one and a quarter inch pipe and uh, let's see how this goes. So our elbow, 
very well. The elbow is working fine. Let's do a 45 degree angle, for example. All this is working fine. Let's uh, upgrade this fitting into a T. Working perfectly fine. And it would be interesting to test that if we have a one inch, one and a quarter inch here and a one and a quarter inch here, you would like to make sure that if you change this into a one inch, you get that nice reducing T here. So, so far so good. Let's do a little cap here. Let's cap open ends. Perfect. We're getting our cap here. Uh, what are we missing? We're missing the cross. So let's test it out here. Let's upgrade this into a T. Let's draw a little piece of pipe segment here. And then I'm upgrading that into a cross. Working fine. So it seems like we're good to go as far as threaded is concerned. So now let's hit the, the groove part. So for a groove part, you'll see that if you try to load those families from the out-of-the-box uh, families in Revit, if we go again under pipe fittings, you'll see that they don't have any groove fittings available. So you'll have to go to either Grinnell or Victolic and download those families from there. So let's do that. So I've already downloaded some of those families. So let's go ahead and load them in to our project. So under fittings, I have them here in a different folder. Victolic. So for now, let's just bring in the cap, the elbow, maybe a coupling and a T, and then we'll take it from there. Now that we have them in, here's a catch. Uh, our pipe segment is being selected from half inch to 12 inch to be the same. It's going to be the carbon steel schedule 40 pipe. That's it. Now our elbow, right now we have it set up as a threaded reducing uh, elbow, malleable iron for all the sizes. See how it says all here? But that's not what we want to do. What we want is for the small pipes, let's say from one inch or half inch to two inches, we want threaded. And for larger pi pipes, we want uh, grooved. So let's set it up. So from half inch to, we set two inches, we have the threaded. And now we're going to add another category here. And here we want the Victolic fire protection elbow, right? We're going to want it for pipe sizes two and a half inches, uh, all the way up, let's say uh, up to 12 inches, because at the end, 12 is our largest pipe here. So, and that would be an elbow just like this. Now, for our T, we want to keep our preferred junction uh, method uh, to a T. And as far as which T we want to use, we're going to do something similar here. So from half inch all the way up to two inches, we're going to have the threaded type. And then we're going to add another category now for the grooved. So we're going to have the Victolic T from two and a half inches to, let's say, 12 inches, right? And that would be something like this okay so for the cross we're going to do something very similar so half inch to two inches and now we're going to add the grooved one it's going to be number 35 from victolic and now you'll notice if i pause the video that i have ajs at the at the front of my of my fitting that's just for me to identify it a little bit faster. You might want to do something similar. So this one's going to be from two and a half all the way up to our largest pipe size here, which is 12 inches. Then for our transition, same thing from half inch all the way up to two inches. And now we add our grooved section, which is going to be the 5051 in this case 
and again you select the fitting that you want this is just the one I want so in this case it's from two and a half to twelve inches for union the exact same thing we keep the threaded coupling for small sizes which is from half inch to two inches and now we add our grooved coupling which is going to be the Farlock 005 and that's going to be from two and a half all the way to 12 inches now for flange we leave this alone and then for our cap we also have to modify our sizes so thread it for small half inch to two and then our large pipe sizes are going to have the Victolic cap grooved cap from two and a half all the way to 12 inches and that's going to be something like this so now we're all set and we're ready to test our pipe routing preference so if we go for small pipes let's say a uh, one and a quarter inch we are expecting to see all threaded fittings right so if we go here with a T we're expecting a threaded T and then we if we turn this into a cross we are expecting a threaded cross so we're good to go now let's do a larger pipe for example three inches so three inches is already larger than two and a half so it should uh, call for grooved elbows right so we're good to go that's our grooved elbow right there perfect and now if we want to upgrade that elbow into a T there's our groove T so that's looking pretty good I now notice that if I want to go let's say with a small branch here let's say one and a half inch and I'm connecting to this pipe then what I get is a reducing groove fitting and if I wanted to see how all this looks in a 3D view this is how it looks so this will be my threaded this will be my grooved and uh, that should be it and keep in mind that we have a lot of uh, pipe types uh, routing preferences videos and the link is, uh, is down there in the description so if you want to check those out uh, I'm sure you'll like those too and if you enjoy this video make sure you like it down there subscribe to the channel hit that bell so you get notifications thank you for watching and see you on the next video